As you know, Tesla's Cybertruck stands out from other trucks in the market today, and its $7 billion Cybertruck factory is nothing like the automotive industry has ever seen. We've heard reports from Tesla design chief Franz von Holzhausen confirming that the Cybertruck will begin to roll out this year. The production and manufacturing will be done in this massive factory. So what exactly is in this factory? Join us today as we dive into Tesla's new $7 billion factory. Before we go into the details, let's take a brief look at the design concept of the Tesla Cybertruck. If anyone were asked to describe the Cybertruck in one word, you'd hear things like crazy, wild, weird, and so on. But this is for a reason. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said, if you bring out the pickup trucks from the other major automakers and remove all of their logos, then it becomes challenging to figure out which company made which truck. They all have the same appearance because the manufacturers are unwilling to step outside their comfort zones. Tesla, however, designed the Cybertruck to be unique from the beginning. This drew a lot of attention when Musk unveiled it in 2019, and even now, several years later, the truck still keeps people talking. It certainly lives up to its name with its geometric characteristics and supposedly bulletproof windows. This $7 billion factory is located in Austin, Texas. Throughout 2019 and 2020, Tesla explored locations in eight different states in the central United States. During this time, many local government representatives and community organizations in several U.S. cities indicated an interest in hosting the very sizable Tesla Gigafactory production site. Some even express an interest in helping to streamline the land acquisition process, overcoming regulatory barriers and taking into account potential tax advantages. And others try to contact Elon Musk via social media marketing directly. However, Tesla eventually picked Austin as the site in July 2020. Tesla revealed the location of Gigafactory 5 as Del Val, Austin, Texas on July 22, 2020 during a 2Q 2020 earnings call. By the end of July 2020, work was already in full flow at the site. The Texas Tax Code Chapter 313 scheme provided state tax advantages to the Tesla Gigafactory, valued at roughly $50 million. Then, about a year later, in the last week of August 2021, the first fully finished Tesla Model Y came off the assembly line at Giga Texas under trial production. The Texas Gigafactory is bigger than the Pentagon in terms of area, covering more than 10 million square feet of floor space, which is about the size of 100 football fields. This makes it the second largest building by volume in the world. Tesla spent around $7 billion on the facility's construction and earned tax incentives totaling more than $60 million. The factory, which is Tesla's fourth in the country, is currently being used to produce some Tesla Model Y cars, with plans to start making the company's long-delayed Cybertruck this year. Elon Musk also stated that the Gigafactory would employ more than 15,000 people. Now, this Gigafactory has received a delivery of 66 assembly line robots to help with the production of the Cybertruck. According to a bill of lading that a Twitter user with a username at Gregor Truck was able to get, the robots, which were manufactured in Germany by business KUKA, came from Europe on December 18th. It shows a number of parcels that were shipped from Germany and were ultimately bound for the Texas factory of Tesla. Tesla's assembly lines in Fremont, Texas, Shanghai, and Berlin all use KUKA robots to assemble various parts on the Model 3, Model Y, Model S, and Model X vehicles. They are the large red and orange robots seen in many of the pictures and videos that have been taken inside the factories of the American manufacturer. Now, 66 robots are not enough for a complete model production line, and Tesla would most likely need to have more of them delivered, but that doesn't seem like it will be an issue. Tesla received its enormous 9,000-ton gigapress from IDRA Group in December, and further shipments are already arriving to complete the inventory gradually. The most recent news about Giga Texas is that Tesla has notified the state of its plans to spend upward of $770 million, expanding its already immense Austin-based factory. According to registration documents submitted on December 9th with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Tesla intends to build additional factories. This additional factory will be for a battery cell testing lab, cathode and drive unit manufacturing facilities, a dye shop, and an undisclosed 693,093 square foot facility called Cell One. This project is imminent as a few of these projects are scheduled to begin development soon. Understandably, a unique vehicle like the Tesla Cybertruck requires a massive factory like this to be built. 
It's essential to remember that the Cybertruck will look different from the design we've seen so far when it comes off the assembly line. For instance, when the Cybertruck was first revealed, it didn't have side mirrors. However, Musk has now verified that the truck would include them as needed by law in the US and several other regions. Musk also said that the mirrors are made to be simple to remove. Prospective Cybertruck owners may want to confirm the legality of driving without side mirrors in their state before purchasing because state laws on the subject differ. In some pictures, we've also seen a gigantic windshield wiper on the Cybertruck. This windshield can cover the entire front of the vehicle with only one blade. It's interesting that Tesla is choosing a single blade during the testing stages, given the size of the windshield. Musk did, however, say that this particular design was not final. We've seen a much closer view of this wiper in more recent leaked images. The wiper is still massive, but it is extendable, allowing it to clear the entire windshield in a single stroke without being too bulky or in the way when not in use. Now, being the cool and futuristic vehicle it is, it's only fitting that the Cybertruck uses a different type of material from what we've seen in other normal vehicles. A steel exoskeleton, which Tesla claims is constructed of 30X cold-rolled stainless steel and is the hardest thing it could find, will be its main selling feature. We can be sure that the new 4680 battery cells will be used by Tesla in the Cybertruck. We know this because Musk has previously acknowledged that the automaker's inability to produce enough cells efficiently has contributed to the truck's delay. Tesla claims that the spiral design of the 4680 batteries will deliver a 16% longer range and six times the power of its current battery cells. The batteries are a marvel of engineering. Battery supply is no longer a problem now, though, as Tesla has confirmed that its 4680 battery cell production has now reached a level that can support the production of over a thousand cars a week. The range of the Cybertruck will vary depending on the model you choose, just like with any other car. The single motor model of Tesla has already been confirmed to have a range of 250 miles, which is the bare minimum Elon Musk claims he will let Tesla offer. The range is increased to 300 miles on the dual motor type, which sounds more impressive. Additionally, the tri-motor vehicle is predicted to have a range of more than 500 miles on a single charge, which is completely ridiculous. But if anyone can do it, then it's Elon Musk. Tesla claims that the single motor Cybertruck can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 6.5 seconds. By Tesla standards, that's quite slow, but this is a truck and its size normally prevents any extremely quick acceleration. However, this adds a bit of excitement to the performance of the higher-end model's performance. The tri-motor Cybertruck can reportedly go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and 4.5 seconds for the dual motor type. That's incredibly fast for such a massive vehicle and will certainly challenge some other less bulky electric cars. The Cybertruck has potential to be a big deal in the world of electric trucks because Tesla holds so much sway over the electric vehicle market. Even though some people may find its quirky look to be off-putting, it's the kind of thing that's likely to appeal to people who want to be able to stand out, whether or not they already drive a truck. With the Rivian R1T, GMC Hummer EV, and Ford F-150 Lightning already on the market, the electric truck market has really begun to heat up. But it's safe to say that these automakers are all just keeping the seat warm for the Cybertruck, as it will undoubtedly take over the market when it launches. What do you think about this Gigafactory and the upcoming Cybertruck? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section. If you've watched until now, thank you very much. Please, consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos about EVs, Tesla, Ford, and the latest car news.